Hey guys, so today I'm gonna talk about my dreads. So this is a dreadlock update, my first update. Anyway, so the reason why I decided to get dreads was I wanted to try something new. And not only did I wanted to try something new, I also got tired of like getting my hair braided and everything. And uh, I remember going to a salon one time and I got a wash and set and this lady burned me in the back of my neck. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but like somewhere right there. But ever since that, I just decided, you know what, let's get dreads. And, um, and I like the whole um, Rastafarian dreadlocks kind of look. And uh, yeah, when I went to Jamaica, I was like, I went there to visit, so when I went there, I saw how other people had their hair in like dreads and stuff like that. So when I came back to America, I said, you know what, I'm going to get dreads. And I just made the decision to get dreads. So I started uh, growing my hair now for about four and a half years. Uh, four and a half years, I've been loving this journey, it's been a beautiful journey. Uh, the one thing I regret on one of my journey is that never dye your hair. Like, <laughs> I think I dyed my hair about like three times. Uh, I just wanted to try something new, give my hair a different look. Um, this is what happened. It's like breaking my hair. My hair, this part fall off, so it's like breaking already. And you see how it's so straight? And this is like from the washing set. Uh, that I used to get and also I did perm my hair which was another bad decision a long time ago so you can pretty much see that um, yeah it's just like the end don't look lock anymore because my hair was breaking off it doesn't look like this this is how the end supposed to look like that instead it looks like this like you see the difference two different things but anyway, uh, nonetheless, this is just a lesson learned. Um, I will just, I think I won't dye my hair as much, but I'm gonna just give dyeing my hair a rest. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about is like what kind of oils and stuff I use. I try my best to use like coconut oil, grapeseed oil in my hair, uh, like almond oil, you know, those are like, the top best oils, in my opinion, that I like to use in my hair. Oh, and uh, castor oil. That's like, those are the top oils that I like to use. So this is just an update. Um, yeah, if you're gonna take one thing from this video, it's just absolutely never dye your hair as much. And there's like safer methods to like dye your hair. Unfortunately, I never did the research. I just went ahead dyed my hair um, always make sure you go to like a professional who knows how to dye your hair because they're more experienced in that field don't just go to any random person and dye your locks because your locks will start to fall out as I said my hair could have been longer than this but you know I mean big chunks of my hair was falling out and um, now I'm just left with like pieces pieces like this. Um, I'm trying to see if I could find one of my locks that's already coming out so I can show you what I'm talking about. This right here is like coming out, but can't really tell. Um, uh, anyway, yeah, like that right there is like skinny. In no time, this will break soon. Like, this is just bad, really bad. Um, so the reason why like I really locked my hair was I was just really liking the Rastafarian um, look like I said and I love the fact that they believe in like peace and no violence they don't eat red meat I always try to practice that like I don't eat red meat it's been like six years now like way before I even died well way before I even got dreads that um, I stopped eating red meat 
And I'm a guy I believe in peace and love, so I just practice that also, always. Like, since I was born, you know, I'm a no-violent kind of guy, even though my, <laughs> my size just seems a little bit intimidating to others who don't know me, but I mean, if you know me, like, you'll know. <laughs> Like, I'm like one of the nicest guys, most friendliest, charismatic guy ever. Um, um, but yeah, this is just a quick dreadlock journey update kind of thing that I decided to do and talk about my dreads. Um, I usually get my hair in like a bun hairstyle because it's very, it, it suits my lifestyle because I don't like my hair on my neck. It's summertime. Like my hair on my back right now make me hot, make me sweaty and stuff like that. Not like super sweaty, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, so this is just an update, man. Um, I'm hoping to do, I'm gonna do more videos like this. Uh, let me know what you think about my video comment. Uh, let me know like what hairstyle and stuff you, you think I should get. Like. Aside from the bun, I usually get my hair in a bun or just like a two strand um, twist or like two braids going back. Um, if there's like a safer method, you think that's out there to dye my hair moving forward? Like, I don't know, probably in the next year or two, I might dye my hair again some different color or whatever. But if you know a safer method, just let me know. I love to hear what you think or know what you know. So, yeah, thanks for listening. Um, comment, like, uh, share, and stay tuned. Definitely stay tuned because I'm gonna really do more like video talking about my hair and stuff like that. All right.